Whoa, 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 what the hell? Bro, what's going on? Bro, what the hell is happening? Whoa! Oh shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> what is happening right now? Help! Help! What? Hello? Where am I? What the nope. What the? What? Yo! Ha <laughs> ha! You suck! So guys, who saw this coming? Call of Duty. Who saw me coming? <laughs> I've been away for three months. My apologies, guys. I, I have explained my new job has required my undivided attention. Um, and if I did fail the course, in, I wouldn't have a job in effect. Um, so that's why you haven't seen me for a while. But things have slowed down at work now. I've, I've passed all my testing. I'm just in the actual handling of I'm, I'm learning to drive a train i'm actually driving trains with a mentor at the moment so that is great i will do a separate video speaking about that if you guys wish let me know down in the comment section and i will get that done for you if that is what you require but sledgehammer games seems to be taking some flack uh, there has been a article i know i am late to the news guys but i thought it was the perfect time for me to return to my channel and basically it seems as if sledgehammer games and raven have been developing the next call of duty which is due out next year 2020 i mean we haven't even really received any real information about 2019's call of duty so this is a bit of a strange one but bear with me now, I am going to have a different kind of view on this. Uh, everybody has reported what has gone on. I am going to link the article down in the description for your viewing pleasure because I'm not going to go into too much depth. But the, the short and narrow of what is going on is basically Sledgehammer Games and Raven seem to have been disagreeing about the current game that they are working on together as a team. The game seems to be in a bit of a state and Activision has stepped in and called for Treyarch to be the lead developer on the game with the assistance of Raven and Sledgehammer. So now I've said that, I just have to ask the question, is this good or bad news? Because everyone's view I've had so far is that this is bad news and for me, one thing I have to say is when we had a two year Call of Duty cycle, Infinity Ward and Treyarch, I believe we had the best Call of Duties that we have ever had. Now, I will say in defense of Sledgehammer Games that the one particular game that they made and had a, a heavy involvement in was Modern Warfare 3. Now, a lot of people didn't like that game. I adored it. I thought it was absolutely great. And if Modern Warfare is similar to that game, I'm sure it will be a massive fan favorite. But for me, Sledgehammer Games have by a country mile made the worst installments of Call of Duty that I have ever played. And without being too disrespectful, I, I feel as this is a good thing for the community that they are not going to be heavily involved because it seemed to me they were given, it seems the developers are given the freedom to do what they want as long as it's not to do with the microtransaction side because that's clearly Activision <laughs> meddling and doing what they like. But it seems to me that they, they was a bit, I don't know, off, off the scale with some of their ideas. I mean, the whole division system in World War II, just, I didn't, it didn't make sense. It didn't feel like Call of Duty to me. And as you guys know, I stopped uploading that to my channel because I just detested the game in the end. I tried and I tried and I tried, but I just did not like the game. Now, apparently this game is going to be Black Ops 5. Now, as much as I absolutely love this series, I do wish that they don't go with this title and I hope it isn't to do with the series in general as the storyline because I think the game has been done to death now and I think we it would be nice to go back to the Cold War era but with a, just a fresh new take on the game I hold Black Ops 1 dearly in my heart I hold Black Ops 2 dearly in my heart I even hold Black Ops 3 dearly in my heart Black Ops 4 I, I, I just like with World War 2 initially I thought I'd enjoy the game but it was just a clusterfuck in the end and it, it just didn't play well I know where they tried to go with the game but it didn't work this is time for Activision to start to realize that they need to go back to basics and they need to start doing what they need to do for the community or they are going to start lose losing people 
in in floods they all have already lost a lot of ground to other games like fortnite apex but there is no denying that call of duty is still a juggernaut in the gaming world as much as people want to say the game is dead it it just really isn't i know they've they've advertised this call of duty mobile and i'm hoping that isn't the replacement for 2019 but for me if activision are making these kind of move movements then it dictates to me that these guys are starting to wake up and starting to realize that this franchise needs an absolute revamp from the bottom straight up to the top and it does seem to me that this is what's going to happen so guys let me know down in the comments section whether you believe sledgehammer whether you believe the call of duty gaming franchise and we as a community are better off without sledgehammer games do you think that we would have a better output with the two uh, development cycles instead of the three because it seemed to me like for a year they just messed around and then we still got a half ass product in the end i feel like the products that we got after two years were much better games um, because there was under real pressure to get those games finished guys let me don't let me know down in the comment section can't get my words out there sorry let me know down in the comment section what you think about all of this and whether you want the game to be a black ops continuation or whether you would have a fresh series guys there are many buttons you can hit but a like and subscribe button i hope they took your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track peace Well, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping.